How you guys doing? Can you see my lovely face? Unshaven. Derek, what do you know? I mean, uh, they told you anything whether you're going to start or not? Uh, no, not yet. Uh, obviously, just continue my preparation into the week as normal, and we'll see what happens. Why are we always meeting you uh, before Tampa games? <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> or coincidental, I don't know. It's kind of awkward. Somebody said something after uh, after the game. It would be kind of funny the last three games if you end up playing, they would be against Tampa. But kind of weird if you think about it. The odds are, are you playing them twice in a year, so your odds are greater, obviously, but kind of just different. Any weird sense of deja vu there? No. Uh, hasn't been anything crazy, but it was, it was definitely af after the game we were kind of talking about it on the bus, it was kind of funny, but laugh at it for a minute and move on. You've been in this situation before. Does this week feel any different, though, you know, with the season Cam had last year and, and kind of the expectations of the season, this season? Um, no, not, I mean, just for me personally, I, you know, if I do end up playing, it's just I want to prepare so I'm ready to go and not let those guys down. You know, I know, obviously, I know the expectations are high. The bar's been set here. Um, just continue to to do the things that we've done to get to this point as a team. Uh, obviously, we haven't started the way we wanted, but uh, we still have a lot of good football players in this room, and we can turn this thing around. Everybody in the division except for Atlanta is one and three. How important is this game? Uh, I mean, every, every game's important at this point. Uh, but <clears throat> you just continue to prepare. Uh, go out there, give great effort on the practice field. Um, the results will come. You just got to kind of trust the process. Continue to, you know, do your week, you know, your work during the week, and go out and execute on Sundays. Derek, you've been here six years now, and if you start here, this will be your third one. But you've had opportunities other places that have, you know, you've signed a series of one-year deals at one time or the other. What has kept you here as opposed to pursuing the, you know, the, the starting QB job that most people would think you would want? Um, you know, I've been asked this before, but uh, honestly, it's the guys, the guys in the locker room, uh, our coaches, staff, people in this building. Uh, it's as good as I've ever seen. You know, coming to work is makes it easy. You know, you go out there, work. You know, the expectations that coach sets for us are right there in front of you. There's nothing that's hidden. Uh, everybody's been honest. Uh, you don't get that everywhere. Uh, you know, and obviously I want to be on a team that wins football games. And at this point in my career, that's the, the most important thing. And, I, you know, I think I told you guys that during training camp, uh, you know, winning football games is this is my 12th season. And before I was here, we didn't win a lot of games. And, you know, being in this environment around this, you know, this type of talent, uh, uh, it's a lot of fun. Have you had any conversation with Cam over the last few days? What's that been like and, and what's been his mood? Oh, he's been good. Uh, obviously, I've talked to him, <laughs> but uh, you know, obviously, he's, you know, frustrated and you know, just doing what you can do. There's nothing you can really do at this point, and just until you pass all the tests and see all the doctors and let those guys do their thing. But uh, I, you know, I think for the most part, he's in good spirits. Does that mean he has not been in your quarterback meetings? Because I cannot confirm that or deny that. Derek, you always say that that you prepare like you're the starter every week, but with a bigger chance of you starting on Monday, is there more film watching, more um, study, I guess? Uh, no, not really. I mean, I learned early on in like my first couple years starting that, the, you know, I just got to trust what I do. You know, I stick to a schedule. I do the same things every single week. Uh, trust it and understand that I know that I've covered all my bases, gone through everything. I, had, I went through a period in time where I kind of would like get to Friday and be like, well, did, maybe I'll go look at this again. You know, sometimes if it's like a certain look or something, I want to go back and look at it, I'll do that. But like, I, I've really, I'm really regimented in, in my preparation. I do the same things on Wednesday, on Thursday, on Friday. And I think, you know, obviously the situation last week, it kind of showed, you know, just being able for me to just step in there and understand what they're doing on the defense. Um, those, those type of things, it, it helps me confirm that I'm doing the right things. There are a lot of guys in that locker room have caught more balls from Cam. How have you built trust with them? Um, you know, I, just during training camp, I, I'm, when I get my chances with those guys, um, just make sure I understand 
learning guys' body language and learning the way they come out of routes. Um, for the most part, we've had a lot of the same guys uh, throwing to, and you know, obviously without the without KB last year. But just you know, just remembering that, and you know, just just trusting it. Greg remembers his specific catch totals from the two times you guys played together. Um, what is it about that connection with him that you guys have? Because it does seem there's something like there's something there. Yeah, I mean, I think it's probably you guys probably look at it more than. I mean, it's not like I'm going to come out and just throw it to Greg, but uh, you know, it's looks, it's uh, play calls, it's, it's there's a lot of different variables that go into it. Uh, for me, I I can never go into a game thinking I got to give the ball to this guy, I got to get it to this guy. I just go through my reads, trust my preparation, and if he happens to be the primary target and he's open, then I throw it to him. But, I mean, it's not like I. Go to line scrimmage, like oh, I'm gonna throw it to Greg every time. <laughs> but he's a nice guy to have. Yeah, I mean, obviously it's a it's a good thing. He's a great player. Um, he, you know, creates matchup problems for other teams, as do the receivers. But uh, he's definitely an asset to our team. Yeah, everyone that, that we talk to is is so confident in, in having you be able to step in and, and perform where they need to perform. What does it mean to you to know that your teammates have that faith and trust in you? It's important. Uh, I mean, I think guys see what I do, you know, if, if I'm playing or I'm not playing, just my preparation during the course of the week. I think that's big for the quarterback in general, backup, starter, whatever. Um, the guys understand that you do the work necessary during the course of the week. A lot of people say, you know, if you were somewhere else, you could be starting. Um, do you ever look around the league and say, yeah, I could, I could be starting there and ever kind of wish that you were? Yes and no. I mean, I, I mean, I'm dead honest when I say I'm, you know, I really truly enjoy coming to work every day. Um, you know, if if it gets to the point where you don't enjoy it, you don't, it's not fun, then why do it? I mean, yes, the money's great, but ultimately, it's like I said, it's about winning games and being with good dudes. And you know, in the last, I mean, last year especially, we we had so many situations where things that you'll never get back, memories with good guys, um, and I, you can't replace that. Going back to, to Greg, you guys started, I don't know, when did you first start going out there together early before games to, to throw the ball around? Whose idea was that, and does that help with you guys as far as your chemistry and all? Or? No, it's not anything that's, like, we're not really running routes. I mean, it's more just getting loose. It actually started, I mean, shoot, 2011-ish. He can tell you exactly the game. I know he remembers. <laughs> But uh, he was with Cam, he did it with Cam, and then imagine Cam was a little late one day and we were out there and he was like, hey, let's go. And he had a good game and so we just kind of continued doing it. After the past few games, is there, can you feel a sense of added pressure like within the offense just to, to, win, to win? Or is, I mean, I know you want to win every game, but. I mean, there's always, in this league, there's always pressure to, to execute and to win football games, but I think Ultimately, you can't. It's a team game. It's not one side of the ball. Um, you know, when one side's, you know, not kind of holding their end up, it's our. You know, the other side's job to kind of bring it. You know, hold it until they can kind of get it together. And you know, that's. You know, some games it's the defense. Some games it's the offense. Some games, it's, you know, we kind of all got to collectively do it together. Uh, you start pressing and forcing. You know, on defense, you start trying to make every tackle, and you're out of your gaps, and they hit big runs. On offense, you start throwing balls to guys that you have no business throwing. Now you get mistakes, and it's it's a big picture thing that I think all of us. I think we understand that it's going to take everybody to to kind of get things going. How many concussions have you had in your career? <clears throat> Too many. <laughs> yeah, uh, six or something. Yeah, probably since high school. And your recovery time did it get longer after each one? Or? Um, well, the worst one was when I was in my first one in high school. I, we played on stuff that was like this, concrete. And I didn't, I mean, I didn't, I remember much of it. They make fun of me all the time. They told me we won the game after the game. And I yelled at my sister for eating my chicken sandwich. And my dad's like, you already ate it. <laughs> uh, but I mean, I've had enough to, to know that everything, every time is different. Um, you know, it's something that you can't really mess with. You gotta let the body heal and you gotta let, you know, some guys bounce back differently. Some guys, 
you know, it's two, three days. Some guys, it's two or three weeks. Sometimes, you know, you just never really know. But when your last one was swim? Uh, 2010 in Arizona. Oh, it's not looking this up, but have you ever started a Monday night game? Uh, yeah. A couple, three, maybe, two, three, something like that. that uh, yeah, I had one in Arizona. wasn't the best. <laughs> uh, played the Giants on Monday night in Cleveland. When they were coming off the Super Bowl, we beat them. Uh, I think maybe two, maybe, I don't remember. So, had a, had a couple. In your last, uh, I think it was the last Tampa Bay game, after you, you ran for a first down and then did Cam's first down maneuver, uh, talk about why you did that, and would we expect anything like that Monday night? Uh, I mean, that it was just support of him. You know, he, he's always been supportive of me. Um, you know, I, you know, in that situation, I take a lot of pride in making sure that if it's my turn, that I go in and don't miss a beat. You know, because I know how much he wants to win football games, how much he puts into it. Um, so I, I put a lot of pressure on myself. Being a pressure. Uh, when you started in 2014, zero zero record, so there's no real pressure there. Later in the season, when you started, the team's on a roll. Now you're one and three, so there's this team's under pressure to win. Do you feel that anymore, or how's that? Well, I think the last one we were three eight and one, so we that was kind of a must win. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean I I won't put it. You know, if I'm playing, I won't put any more added pressure to you know, the end result. Um, but I, I mean, when I say pressure, I mean I just put a lot of onus on myself. I don't mean, like, f actually feel the pressure of the situation. Um, but if I do play, you know, I just go do what I do and, you know, plays that get called and throw them to the guys, let them make plays and see what happens. Thanks, Thank you, guys.